Breaking news. We can achieve Yoruba nation without fighting, without firing a bullet. Sunday Boho advice and talks on how to achieve Yoruba nation going forward. It is the same for this Yoruba nation's sake that he has spent over six months in, you know, in Benin Republic, but is a dogged leader, a courageous one, a man of strength, a man who is ready to take the bull by the horn. That is Sunday Bull we are talking about. A man who has come to, you know, pave way. A man who could be, I mean, in Europe, but decided to stay with his people and say, you know what, come rain, come shine, we are going to be here. Okay, and if the government will not do the right thing, let us get our own nation where we can put things in order. Yes, children can go to school and it is compulsory that you have your primary and secondary education. If you don't want to go for the tertiary, then you must go to maybe a college where you learn apprenticeship. Even carpentry is learned in this apprenticeship and you can still climb up the ladder. You have equal opportunity, just like it is abroad, overseas, with those who went to school, to the Harvard and the rest. You climbed up through the rank. They came in, but you meet at the top. You see, these are opportunities that are vast over there abroad that children can, you know, unless and take possession of. Not everybody will go to the conventional school, but you, at least you will have your primary and secondary education. That's Sondu Bo's cry. Let's get all the details. We can achieve Yoruba nation without firing a bullet, without fighting. Sondu Bo speaks on how to achieve this. Yoruba Nation Agitator, Chief Sunday Adeyemo, popularly known as Sunday Buhu, on Thursday said, yes, we can achieve Yoruba Nation. We can achieve our self-determination without firing a bullet, without fighting. It is doable. It is reachable. The game, the goal will be achieved. He called on all his supporters to embrace peace and dialogue in their quest for self-determination. Igboho in a statement issued on his behalf by his council, Chief Yomi Aloy, on Thursday in Abuja, employed all his supporters, especially his kinsmen at home and in diaspora, to embrace dialogue in their request for self-determination, without heating up the fragile situation in Nigeria already. The activist said that he would continue to preach against war because he sees what is going on between Russia and Iran and between Russia and Ukraine, and it is not nice at all. Considering what was happening going on in Europe, some parts of Europe between Russia and Ukraine, and some parts of Igbo lands today in Nigeria, we should not involve ourselves in that. It does it does nobody any good. He expressed his belief that. The ambition for self-determination could be achieved without firing a bullet, without a fight. Igboho then assured all those. Igboho then assured all those in support of peaceful self-determination through referendum that the struggle continues, adding that he would not relent in the effort that has already begun. In that regard, he said everyone must stand up. We thanked all. He thanked all his supporters, especially leaders, Professor Banji Akintoye, Professor Wole Adenio, and all Nigerians, especially his people in Elena Odua, and affiliated seeking self-determination all groups. Igboho also thanked the president of, of the Republic of Benin for releasing him from prison without a view or without a view of uniting him with members of his immediate family in spite of the fact that he would only stay in Kotono for a time being. The activists also appreciated Chief Dele Momod for visiting him while in prison. He says, I really appreciate it. He pledged his loyalty and respect to his counsel, Chief, a lawyer, who, according to him, through all extreme brutality in the nation, did all he can, who does not believe in any of the backlash from Nigeria. Igbo also lauded a lawyer's effort in exhibiting extreme professionalism in taking up my case with DSS without paying a cobble. No, I never paid him a cobble. And for winning it with the landmark award of 20.5 billion naira from Nigerian government. Can you believe it? The man did not take a penny. He went on to court, continued to fight the Igbo's cause 
He did not take a penny. He did not take a penny. That's a good man. The lawyer, all the one he's been doing, he has not collected a single money. Some other people would have seen a good client and they would have collected money, but not this lawyer. This lawyer has stayed with Sunday Boho, despite in spite of all. He stayed with him. And he said even the case that he won, that the federal government is to pay him certain amount of money, the man did not collect anything from him. I, I think that's a good man. I think we should really loud the, you know, I think we should really loud the 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 lawyer, you know, and the boy himself thanked him, you know, and, it's, and he also thanked Dele Mahmoud. said Dele Mahmoud visited him while he was in prison. Yes, he came, you know, he was there with him. You know, why politicians are busy going about their own political tour and doing everything, never thinking about it that somebody's child, okay, somebody else's child is, is, is there and um, all he needs is freedom so that his family can continue to, to enjoy life and to do and to do what they need to do. Some other persons, we are fighting tirelessly to see to it, okay, that the, those same people get freedom. So it, it, it tells you the kind of heart or the person who said he wants to become your leader, the kind of heart he really has, okay? It tells you the kind of heart he really has, okay? It tells you this is what is currently happening now. It tells you the kind of heart. A person who who, who stands and who, who speaks, you know, without paying attention to what is happening to the other person, it tells you the kind of heart, okay? Sunday Boho stood. Sunday Boho came out. Sunday Boho said, no, enough is enough. I'm not going to allow this, you know. He need not to do it. I keep emphasizing that. Sunday Boho has dual citizenship. And so he can decide to say, you know what, um, to your tent to Israel, I'm going to Nigeria. If you don't want to get yourself together, okay, so it's a pity. And he moves and turns the blind eyes, you know, to what, to the struggle of the people. But Igbo did not do that. He didn't do any of that. Sunday Boho did not do that. Sunday Boho rather came out, stood for the people, addressed the people, and saying, we move. Let us, let us stop oppression on our people. Yes, we move. We move. So this is the true reflection and reality. A lot has happened. A lot has happened. And please, um, please continue to, you know, uh, let's continue to really pray for those who stand for us, who mean us well. Okay? Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye. Have a good day.